At Camp Keep, the two most common lizards we find here are the western fence lizard and the alligator lizard. Today, we're going to look at what they have in common and how they are different. Take a moment just to observe a group of western fence lizards interacting with each other. What kinds of things do you see them doing? Now take a moment to observe the alligator lizard. What kinds of things do you notice about its scales or the way it moves? Let's start with the ways that they are similar. These are both lizards, and as a result, they're part of the reptile crew, which means they're cold-blooded and need to warm up in order to be able to move around. The second thing is that they are diurnal, which means they're active during the day, and then at night, they sleep. They also eat very similar types of food. They're what we call insectivorous, so spiders, ants, larvae, and also another thing is that both these lizards can lose their tails to escape predators. So they'll break off and they can grow back again. The main predators of these types of lizards are birds. Also, these lizards hibernate during the cold winter months. So in the wintertime at Camp Keep, we often don't see a lot of lizards, but in the spring and fall, they are abundant. Now let's look at how they're different. These lizards have a major difference in their scales. With a western fence lizard, they have spiny scales, which are keeled and pointed. Whereas the alligator lizards, they have more larger, squarish type of scale. Another major difference is the bellies of these. Look at the western fence lizard's blue belly. Compare that now to the larger, squarish, gray scales of the alligator lizard's belly. Both of these lizards are territorial, but in different ways. Here, the western fence lizard is doing push-ups, and this is a display to show other males that he is in the area, and this is his territory. Western fence lizards also do push-ups to show off their blue belly to females. The brighter the blue, the better the nutrition from an abundance of good food in his territory, which means that her eggs will have a better chance of surviving, which makes him the best ideal mate. Alligator lizards don't do push-ups in this way. Instead, they're their more traditional aggressor, and they're not afraid to bite people if you ever try to catch one. They also have differences in their habitat. Where do you think western fence lizards like to hang out? And how do you compare this with alligator lizards? From watching the clips, do you know which one is bigger? Do you know which one lives longer? You got it, the alligator lizard can live up to 15 years, whereas the western fence lizard can only live to about seven years max. Another unique difference is that the western fence lizard lays eggs, which we call oviparous, whereas the alligator lizards give live birth, we call viviparous. I wanted to end with my favorite lizard fact, and that is the western fence lizard has earned the name the hero lizard. It's called this because it has a special protein in its blood. And that protein, when bit by a tick, can remove it of the bacteria, which causes Lyme's disease. When small ticks feed on a lizard's blood, that protein wipes out the bacteria that causes Lyme's disease. And as a result, Lyme's disease is much less common in California, where these lizards live, than back east, where they don't exist. Thank you for taking time to explore the differences between these two special lizards that live here at Camp Key.